Hello and welcome to Glen ZB TV for Thursday, the show that puts Glen ZB into your virtual headset. I'm bringing New Zealand to the world. In the world <laughs> to New Zealand. And and don't worry, don't worry, Zuck. I've 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 read your terms, I've agreed to them. I haven't, of course. Nobody's nobody ever has. And nobody ever will. Uh, I look. Do what you want. Um, if you like, have send my nude pics to the world. I I want to be able to use your stuff, and if that means selling my soul to the devil, if that's in that fine print somewhere, yeah, it's all yours. Stop asking tricky questions, senators. Please, we don't care. We. We agree. We haven't read. There should be a button that says, no, haven't read, but still agree. In fact, ideally, there would be a button that just said that and said, fill in any conditions you like above here so I don't have to waste time scrolling down. I just, where's the thing that says, I agree, I agree, I agree. Do you think that it's harsh of me to say to the netballers, Stop your blubbing! And play netball! Don't get upset, get even! Show us what you're made of! You're New Zealanders, goddammit! Get out there and spank those Aussies! It might, is that too harsh? I just need a little bit more detail on this uh, this crocodile bike story. Apparently, I'll read you the, I'll quickly read you the whole story. There's a plan to turf Oriental Bay's iconic crocodile bikes off the pavement and onto a new cycleway. Wellington City Council is proposing to change the shared path next to the marina into a separate cycleway and pedestrian pathway. The move follows complaints about reckless croc bike drivers putting pedestrian safety at risk. Network Improvements Manager Paul Barker says it might be initially challenging for crocodile bikes and cyclists to use the same space. But he says the two and a half metre wide path should be big enough to share. End of story. And if, like me, you're not that familiar... I mean, I've been to Wellington on numerous occasions. I've been to Oriental Bay on numerous occasions. I have no idea what a crocodile bike is. Is it a bike that looks like a crocodile... Is it a bike being uh, piloted by a crocodile? Is it a bike? Why is it? It's putting other pedestrians and cyclists at risk. Is it an actual crocodile on a bike? That's 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 what it is. We need to know as soon as you say one of those stupid things that it doesn't go very fast and you can't steer properly that your whole family can sit on and then argue about who's in charge of it. Then we know what a crocodile bike is. Don't just do a story about the iconic crocodile bikes and not explain what a crocodile bike is. Nobody knows what a crocodile bike is. We haven't all spent all our time poncing around Oriental Bay in Wellington. Uh, another question about this story. Sorry, newsroom. I'm just getting a bit stuck into you today, but seriously. Uh, apparently, uh, the, some of the workers who were made redundant when the Cadbury factory closed, uh, they've been given 360 free double passes to the Highlanders Super Rugby cr Clash this, this weekend with the Canberra Brumbies. So that's that's nice. And, and this is to do with the fact that uh, the, the Highlanders, Cadbury and Spates are three of the big iconic identities in the in the region. So they thought it would be a chance for the Highlanders to show some local love to the Cadbury workers. So, of course, the, my question out of this story, which, again, is not answered in the story, they've, they've named the Highlanders, they've named Cadbury, they've also named Spates. So are they giving them some free Spates as well? Because that's definitely what would make me feel better. If I got some free beer, I could forget that I don't have a job anymore. But that's not in this story either. Come on, more information, please, newsroom. Lift your game. I am Glenn ZB. Thank you so much for having me in your virtual headset. See you back here again tomorrow.